Hey, what up guys? Downward Thrust here for a quick review of Super Rad Raygun. It's a brand new side-scrolling love letter to the classic Game Boy. It's got the rockin' music that you can't deny. It's got the retro green overlay. It's got the cliche 80s humor. But how does it stand up to the greatness of our classic Mega Man? Let's break it down with a review. Super Rad Raygun is a retro side-scroller that will kick your ass. It's the year 1980X. Mullets are hot, and the war with the Soviets is colder than a refreshing glass of cherry coke. You play as a superhero robot named Rad, working in defense of a desperate America to fend off Soviet forces during the Cold War. It's your job to fight those dirty Soviet assholes back and save America from a certain doom. So step aside, White House bodyguards, because Rad is here to fucking play. You jump into the game and immediately you feel the old Mega Man vibes. The movement is similar. You can slide, double jump, activate special abilities. It all feels like home for those who grew up on those no-name Game Boy side-scrolling ass kickers. And while you're killing Soviet baddies, you'll need to manage a battery resource meter that depletes with not only your special abilities, but simple double jumps and slides as well. And you better hone those reflexes yours because most of the game your eyes will be glued to the screen and your palms sweaty like a fat man on a hot summer day. Mostly, you'll be running, gunning, sliding, double jumping, and dipping in and out of projectile spaces to avoid damage and proceed to mark checkpoints peppered throughout the levels. Hit up bosses at the end of each level, get treated to some cutscenes, and then choose your next victim on a Mario 3 style overworld. It's how the game rolls. It's a slick system that will take you back to the good old days of gaming. And yes, finally a game with a lives and continues system again. Super Rad Raygun is filled to the brim with a throwback 80s style humor from Rad himself, suspiciously shaped like a Game Boy for example, to enemy forces that bear a strong resemblance to Super Mario's Goombas and references to the greatness that was New Coke. The game also harkens back to the visual style of classic Zelda games when traversing levels where the screen splits up into different frames. And of course we can't ignore that puke green Game Boy overlay, just look at it, it's so nostalgic isn't it? But with an 8-bit vibe comes 8-bit problems. There aren't many, but sometimes the controls can feel a bit floaty when double jumping. Enemy gunfire can sometimes travel with you into new screens and hit you in your ass on the way in, and the game can often feel oddly paced. Some sections being too easy, only to be proceeded by very challenging enemy encounters and vice versa. It needs some tender love and care and polish, but the lack of refinement is kind of also what made these games special back in the day, so I guess it's not that big of a deal in the end. I gotta say I loved my time with this little gem, Super Rad Ray Gun. I played it all night last night to bring you this review. I got deep into the game and I got a neck ache from all the head bobbing I did to the rockin' tunes. And that's Super Rad Ray Gun in a nutshell. There's not too much more to say. It's a little tic-tac size game, a little bite size game. I give it the thumbs up and if you like these games, it's an easy pass for me. You'll find a lot to like here. Thanks for watching guys. For more game reviews and all other gaming goodness, subscribe to Downward Thrust now and have a kick-ass day.